We got some major updates from Nintendo themselves in regards to their roadmap for their next-gen hardware. Find out about that and much more up next. <laughs> What up guys, this is KLO and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content, drop a like on the video and welcome to the level up. So we got a lot of news from the Nintendo side of things in regards to the Switch and where Nintendo stands on their next generation hardware. So recently, Nintendo's president Shuntaro Furukawa talked with investors and the company believes it's very difficult to sustain sales momentum when talking about the Nintendo Switch. Of course, this is now the seventh year the Switch is on the market and sales are slowing down more quickly than anticipated. Mr. Furukawa admitted to the fact that the company had a goal of selling 15 million units this fiscal year, which was a bit of a stretch and the holiday 2022 sales numbers were a bit disappointing. And despite bad sales, according to MyNintendoNews.com, Nintendo confirmed to its investors that they have no plans to release any new hardware this fiscal year. Now, this fiscal year we're talking about ends on March 31st, 2024. Now, I'm fairly certain 2024 is still the year we get next generation hardware from Nintendo, but that's up for debate now. And with them saying they don't expect to release any new hardware before March 2024, that doesn't mean we can't get official word that the console is in fact coming. I've stated before in previous videos that I think the September Direct is the prime spot for us to get word on the next console. And as the days go on, there are far more whispers of Nintendo's next-gen plans getting out there. Of course, there was a rumor making the rounds that a 3D Donkey Kong game could be a launch title for this rumored console along with the next big Mario game. And like we brought up before here on the channel, after Tears of the Kingdom, which is due out this week, and Pikmin 4, which comes out in July, that's their next quote-unquote big title to hit the Switch. And of course, there was a healthy dose of GameCube ports being rumored for what seems like months now. Personally, I think this is a good time to announce the next generation console. One, to drum up excitement for fans, and to give them something to look forward to beyond Pikmin 4. Then again, it's Nintendo we're talking about here, and if anything, they're very unpredictable when it comes to these types of things. And after various leaks got out surrounding Tears of the Kingdom, I think they're going to play their cards close to the chest, especially when it comes to this next generation hardware. But there were reports coming from a news outlet called Nikkei stating, quote, to offset the Switch's decline and get back on the growth track, many are calling for the company to introduce a new console. One is rumored to be due out next year. Quote, development seems to be progressing well, a source close to Nintendo told Nikkei Asia, but a product launch won't happen before next spring the earliest. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this question off to you guys. Is it wise for Nintendo to ride the Switch until the wheels fall off, or should they get ahead of the curve, announce the next-gen hardware, and focus on that moving forward? But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And this has been The Level Up.